Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Cancer, I want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize. I know we are a bit behind on our readings. Um, a lot has been happening. I will be doing a video updating you guys. Also letting you, uh, letting you guys know the new projects that I'm currently working on. We are also going to be working on the series for um, interpretation of the cards. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely stay tuned. Uh, for now, let's get into your reading Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of August 2021. Now your first card here is the Eight of Pentacles. Next card is the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups, Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands, Page of Cups, and the Wheel of the Year. Okay, let's see. Interesting cards, Cancer. Okay, so right at the center, we have the Eight of Pentacles. I see you really looking very closely, um, very, really taking your time um, trying to, okay, so what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the situation at work. Um, I see you guys putting hard work, uh, putting effort and energy towards um, something that you're currently doing at work. This could be a project. This could be um, I'm getting a lot of different messages, you guys. Um, one of the things that I'm hearing here is um, you may be dealing with the situation at work where primarily you were focusing on your work and doing what was expected of you. Um, and I see people around you. I see a lot of rumors. Um, it could have been almost like a situation of a superior or someone that is of higher authority uh, that really has high regards uh, to you. And I feel that it's not sitting well with certain people. Um, as we do have the five of swords here and I feel that you guys are at this point frustrated there's almost like a feeling of wanting to be vindicated or wanting to see karma bite them in their in their ass um, there was a hidden truth for some of you guys um, with the ace of swords here I feel that certain things were either created fabricated or exaggerated um and and for some reason i'm hearing for some of you guys it could be in almost like um like people creating rumors about your superior or someone that is of higher authority um that has or may have something going on with you whether it's true or not i feel that it's definitely not their place but with the Ace of Swords, I feel that there was like some type of exaggeration here or that the truth was kept hidden. Um, someone definitely was holding uh, or withholding some type of information that recently was released. So I feel that you may be dealing with a lot of rumors in the workplace. Um, what they're telling you here, Cancer, is try the best you can to protect your to protect your, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's almost like, I feel people are slandering your name. You may be dealing with the situation for some of you guys, it could have been like a romance, you know, affair in the workplace that went south really quick. Um, for others of you, I feel like you've been trying to put effort and energy towards a situation where it's almost like you've been 
been going like back and forth trying to give an opportunity to someone that is taking advantage of you cancer um again i'm hearing very heavily for some of you guys it could be in the workplace so you could have um got it gotten sentimentally involved with someone in the workplace uh for others of you it could be that there was a superior someone of higher authority that was definitely interested in you um and i feel people around you like spreading rumors making up shit that is not even true um and you're kind of trying to deliberate if you should walk away or if you should continue being in this position being in this job um being around these people i see a lot of sneaky shit a lot of things that are happening behind your back that is not positive whatsoever I feel that for in, in some situations you've kind of held back um, or kind of kept your truth to yourself. Um, but I feel that you're getting to the point of just being like getting to the point of being exhausted, being tired. You're over this situation with the nine of wands. You're not wanting to put any more effort. It's like you're deciding to walk away. We have the eight of cups here now. The advice, what they're telling you here is with the seven of swords, if you need to confront someone that has been lying, has been deceiving you, um, and this could be in any capacity, whether it's in your career, in your job, whether it's dealing with a friend that you thought was a friend, quote unquote, um, that betrayed you or that put your shit out there um, or that exaggerated some truths you need to confront them and not in a hostile way not in a way of like getting to the point of getting physical with each other but i feel that this person it's not the first time they've done this and i feel that you need to you need to reassert your power and make or force people into respecting your boundaries is what i'm hearing a lot of you guys have this almost like it's a very uncomfortable situation when you have to you know create certain boundaries or let people know your boundaries i feel like you kind of hold back because you don't want to hurt people's feelings or because uh you feel like you they may you know misinterpret that but at this point what they're telling you is you need to reassert your boundaries people are not respecting your boundaries and i see them going above and beyond putting like putting themselves like going out of their way to create more drama in your life and you need to nip that in the ass cancer because if you don't I feel that this this can progress into something um, much more chaotic for you. Now, you may be dealing with a fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries energy here. And I feel that there was some type of connection with this person. So it could have been like a frenemy, someone that started off as a friend. Uh, but you started to see that they were petty, that they were deceiving you, or that they were exaggerating certain truths. Um, this is a person that likes to gossip a lot. And I feel that things are quickly going to be turning in your favor. Um, it's almost like a situation where they're speaking behind your back. You walk into that situation and it's like everything they said, they take it back because you know they're scared that you may have heard or whatnot and the other person that they were relating that gossip to is going to start to question their character but i feel that there is a need for you to confront certain things now for others of you this is a situation that may have to do with family uh friends relatives around you where you're wanting to you're wanting to 
focus in your aspirations, your dreams, what your your everyday life. Um, but with the Knight of Pentacles here, it almost feels like things haven't been as easy for you. It's been difficult. You've been tested. You've been, um, you know, overcoming obstacles. And there is almost like a need of getting some type of clarity. It's kind of the situation where when we often go through like a rut or we go through a, a moment in time where we feel like we're in, everything that we are doing just it just is not panning out it's it's kind of like that scenario of everything i do is like going to shit and then you start to wonder you start to think um is are people intentionally fucking with me are people intentionally doing stuff that is creating these obstacles so i'm going to be completely honest with you with you guys uh cancer I feel that for some of you guys, if you've been constantly going through some type of um, challenges, I feel that for some of you guys, it's like you're starting to think that people are messing with you. And when I say think, um, we're talking about like spell work and stuff like that. Um, with the five of swords, there is a desire or a want for some type of vindication, some type of revenge. Uh, the nine of wands is they're telling you to hold back. They're telling you not to take that route. Um, only because you're not understanding the lessons that you need to overcome. Uh, that's the reason why you're going through this. It's not because people are messing with you or because they're doing anything to harm you. Um, in regards to the esoteric, in regards to spell work or witchcraft or anything like that, the Nine of Wands talks about standing your ground, staying in your truth. Um, if we have to overcome certain challenges and obstacles and learn from that, then it's just something that we must do for our soul's evolution. And I feel that this is your case right now. So again, the Eight of Cups, walk away from this situation. No longer feed into people that are petty, into people that are negative, or that are sneaky and deceiving more than anything. And again, I feel very strongly with this um, fire energy and maybe a female that you're dealing with or that is creating this type of um drama around you with the page of cups i feel that there is jealousy i feel that that's the reason why uh they've continuously kind of want to continue creating this type of chaos or energy in your life that's if they're not already or if you've caught them already gossiping or talking smack behind your back but i feel that the root cause is jealousy um, now keep in mind, uh, Cancer, this is a general reading, so this could also be your energy. It could be a situation where you keep wondering why is everything that I'm doing going to shed? Well, are you a petty person? Have you um, created these types of scenarios in your head where you've convinced yourself that it's other people that are having control over your life when in reality it's based off of your actions it's the cause and effect uh there is a need for self-reflection here if that is the case um with the wheel of the year i do see things turning around however like i said this is a general reading and if you're the one that has created gossip has envy or jealousy towards a specific female um keep in mind that what goes up also comes down so if you want to protect your energy and you want to make sure uh, that you're not at the end, um, at the receiving end of negativity, make sure that you're not putting negativity out there as well. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of guidance and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.